All right, so I think I may have, uh, we're gonna call support here. All right, guys, so we are exiting here in Los Gatos and I figured, you know, being in a mountainous kind of town, we should check out some of these hills. So within the geofence, there's a place called, I think it's like Inca Court. I've actually never been there. Um, and you can see here, uh, we have about seven minutes arrival times 202, but you can see how the very mountainous, right? Like there's a lot of turns here. So we're gonna see how the robo taxi handles going up some of these hills. Um, I personally have done a lot of, you know, testing out in the mountains, so I think it'll do it pretty well, but I personally have never been to this location, so we're going to see how this works. Again, we're here in the Bay Area in Los Gatos doing, you know, some testing here, and again, you can see the safety drivers here, who's pretty much just monitoring the situation, and we have a bunch of cars that are going by, and the car, you can kind of see the bird's eye view right there, where you can see all these cars, there's no one else coming, so it's going to go but we're gonna see how it does. And then uh, once we get to that location, we will change the location so we don't get stuck there. But figured I'd take this little detour just to see, you know, this is literally the outer brink. So let's just show you, let me just show you the, the geofence. So if you look here, we're literally going to pretty much like the last place you can go to on this, maybe not all the way up the road, but we're gonna see how this handles. So it's got three-way stop here. We're gonna make a left, there's no one around. This guy's making an illegal U-turn, which is human driving as well. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna go check this out. Yeah, FSD out of like all things, honestly, it's it does really well in the, in the suburbs. And, you know, like I said, I've taken this thing up to, uh, not this specific car, but um, I've taken it up all the way up to Mount Umanum on FSD in my Cybertruck, but also too, I've taken it in several other places. So we're going to, uh, just see how it does in these kind of mountainous roads. And there's a lot of a lot of turns here. So again, if you just look, it's not gonna be the easiest thing to deal with. Um, and the crazy thing is actually, um, this geofence includes San Francisco, which it has insanely steep hills. Uh, there was a squirrel out there, um, but we'll see if we get any other cars coming. Um, we have about six minutes left on this ride. All right, so here, look at that. So it actually figured it out. It struggled a li little bit there. There was like um, multiple lanes and it was able to, to navigate it. It kind of shrugged a little bit. And again, we're up on one lane road. All right, so we have a Porsche here and it's slowing down, moving to the right, handled that seamlessly. And we got this massive hairpin up coming up here. So. Um, and it looks like this one lane road kind of turns back into two lanes. It's going all the way around this fat hairpin here. Insanely, I can feel the incline is like, my body's like hitting the back of this. And if you can see, you can literally see we're at the top, not the top of these mountains, but we're, you can see the valley out there. That is not a joke. All right, we got another big turn here with a red car parked on the right hand side so obviously it's going to move kind of probably into the middle of the lane a little bit all right so clearly we're getting up here and i'm actually switching the location to go back down because i just wanted to kind of pick go to the far left i don't know if it's going to have any issues there is no <laughs> connection up here so we're going to see how this does it's actually what's crazy is that it says navigating without connectivity yeah, this is awesome. And look, so we actually have this, what is this little RV thing here? And then a car out here on the left, navigating through both perfectly. Bunch of cars up here. All right, so I do not think we're supposed to go in this driveway, but I have no idea. This is a private drive. Oh, this actually could just take us through. So this might just be like some private residence because clearly there's a path to get through. And look at that. You can see we're literally at the top here. <laughs> All right, so look at this. I mean, like if you just see this road here, you can't even actually, it's like a forbidden path or something. Wow, this is crazy. Look at all this debris. That is <laughs> insane. All right, so we just hit a private road. 
Wow, that is insane. <laughs> okay, so we just hit a private road and now we are backing up because, um, dude, this is just crazy. So you can see it's private road. It's literally blocked off and it's backing up. So yeah, that's crazy. Just throw this up real quick. You can see, so we're backing up. It's trying to kind of, I think, situate itself a little bit more. All right, so I think I may have, uh, we're gonna call support here. <laughs> uh, yeah, all right, we're gonna see how this handles. So it cannot, it literally cannot go this route. But what's crazy is it sees this private road here and it's gonna back up. This is what you would expect, right? It's, it knows it cannot go that route. We're literally at the top of this mountain. So I don't know if it's just kind of debating right now to go back and forth. It should probably just back up all the way, honestly. But yeah, so I think we might be stuck in this like, all right, looks like we have to, it was really interesting to see that happen. Um, but hey, this is why uh, this is in, um, this is why we have the safety drivers. And also too, like I said, I had no idea. I've never been up here. Didn't even know about this back road. So the good thing is, is like, what is this gonna do? You, again, I had no idea, I've never been up here. I just selected a random location and then changed the location when I had an opportunity. It mapped it, but this is within the geofence. So what is this gonna do? Is they're probably gonna block this from the future as far as like it can't go this route. It probably should have like returned around up there. But you kind of had both situations where there was no connectivity and um, you know, we're, we're on these mountainous roads. So, but how did the, the robo taxi handle up here? Like, again, the driving itself is pretty seamless. Again, this is a, I'm not going to say it's an edge case, but it's just one of those things where this is the, the geofence and we're pushing it to the top of it. But this is all important in helping Tesla get better for these geofences. And especially for these people that live out here in, uh, kind of the Los Gatos area. This is what it's about, right? Is that we just figured out a spot where there's a block road and it's probably because the maps in itself, like that, there was no road, we shouldn't have gone down that road. So what's gonna happen is hopefully Tesla will incorporate this into, you know, um, the geofence and into uh, what routes are possible and not, not possible. So we're gonna go back down, but like I said, that's what this is, uh, this, test, this testing is all about. So again, just in case you can't see, look at this. We're just feel you know, that right sure support. Do you need it? Is it? Oh, we're all good now. Thank you. You know, clearly we were actually so what was happening there is when we were at the top of the hill, I think it was just going back and forth multiple times. Um, but you could see it was just kind of going back and forth. But in that situation, it should have seen the fence and then from that point just back up and uh re um, aligned to where to go. But overall here, I mean, like I said, this is uh, why we do this testing, but it's done really well out here on these hills. All right, so look at this. This dude's like hauling up here in his Bronco. Slowed up for that. It looks like there's a bunch of these uh, county service workers. I don't know what they're doing up here, if they're evaluating something. So here's even like multiple roads. Again, able to clearly identify which one. All right, so we have a Jaguar here and handled that perfectly. That's awesome. All right, so we're getting to the bottom of this. Um, I just wanted to showcase, I had no idea when I did this drive, uh, especially coming here. I just figured, you know, hey, I have some extra time. Let me just take it to the top of these mountains, obviously. Uh, being a little bit familiar with this area, I had never been to Inca Court, so took it to the top. And, um, you know, I was able to get to the top and then relocate. But again, it was able to do pretty well to like remap without any connectivity. And then obviously we got to that gate and it kind of like was backing up and going back and forth. So this is a great testing scenario for Tesla. Within the geofence, understand every scenario because, but unless, how, how do you get those scenarios? You have to be able to, to test it out. So what will be interesting is to see what does Tesla do when that happens again? So, um, and, and redo that. Um, but it did really well for these mountainous roads here in Los Gatos. So i um, super bullish on this, uh, really excited. This is my sixth ride here in the Bay Area. I've done seven in Austin. So this is really cool and glad to experience that. And again, this is why 
you know, that they have the safety drivers at this moment is to, to, to be able to help navigate through these and learn. Um, super excited that I was able to experience that to, to see, you know, Tesla's RoboTaxi handle these mountainous roads.